to boycott these over interviews. Today, our special guest, he is a uh, Liverpool and Zimbabwe legend. He is a head coach for Arthur Fury. He's also the Canadian goalkeeper coach. He was the first African to win the European Cup, which is now known as the UEFA Cup. I present you, Bruce Gobble. Thank you for coming to the show today. I know you're busy, you got stuff to do. So, um, what's going on right now? What's going on? What's going on? You know, what are you uh, working on next? What am I working on next? Well, uh, as always changing football. You know, you're never in a, in a, in a place for very long. Um, I've been offered uh, the co-giving job here at Ottawa Fury, and I work with the head coaches of uh, Ottawa Fury right through to the academy. Um, we have to wait and see until the end of the season. Uh, see if my contract stays, mm -hmm. and if if so, then I'll be still here. But otherwise, I'll be looking around. Uh, the fans want to know: besides living in Ottawa, which one was the most memorable city you've ever lived in? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, to Bura, I come from a beautiful place called Zimbabwe, and I think Harare is probably uh, a place that you is so diverse. You know, being. Um, probably the only white man who played in Zimbabwe team to go and uh, rally the whole country around the team that was called the Dream Team at the time. It was a phenomenal place to, to live. Uh, people were so uh, respectful, uh, passionate about their football, and I'd say that goes up with one of the best places I've lived in. Liverpool, and on the other hand, was. 14 years of great uh, service to Liverpool Football Club and um, they, the people are just as passionate about football. They, the football knowledge in Merseyside is, is unbelievable. And Vancouver was a beautiful place to live in never before I went to uh, Vancouver. Oh, yeah, so um, besides living, soccer, with the sides, uh, thinking about soccer, working, what else do you do in Ottawa for fun? <laughs> I play a lot of golf. Yeah, so the weather's come right now. <laughs> I'll be up in North Wales probably three times a week. Um, if you look at uh, uh, soccer, soccer can only take, you need a break from soccer. So for me, going out on the golf course and playing uh, gives me a little bit of relief. But unfortunately for myself, I can't, might not be able to do that too often because my family live in Newfoundland and I have to go back there from time to time. And so, you know, it'll take, take quite a lot of doing. But uh, yeah, just on the golf course around um, Ottawa, that's where it will be fun. We would like to know who is the greatest player you've ever played with? <laughs> I'd say, well, I mean, that's a double question for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've played for, with great people. Um, I've played against great people, but with um, the best player I've ever played with was, was Graham Souness. But that's where I leave him on the field, because as a manager, he, he was the worst one. <laughs> um, and then you go to Kenny Dalglish and Jim Rush, John Barnes. And I'll put Kenny Dalglish because of his uh, ability to get a team together. Imagine uh, going to play with his team and then go manage the team at the same time and then go on to coach the, the coach the side as a manager. I think that that's, uh, that's a person that, uh, you know, the greatest person that I've played with. Moving mm -hmm. uh, forward, um, if you had four options, would you want to coach either Liverpool, would you want to coach South Africa, Zimbabwe, or Canada? <laughs> that is your number of question. Ooh, I've always said that I'd love to uh, coach Liverpool. But uh, the icing on the cake is probably go back to my country in Zimbabwe and, and coach them to a World Cup final. Uh, it's it's something that uh, every every person who played for their country would want to do. And I go back in the dream team. The dream team uh, out of the coaches from the dream team fired the, the team. So six of the team have actually coached the national team up to now. Oh, really? And so we've got a few that uh, have got a pedigree that want to get there and uh, have got the passion to do it. And then I'd like to go and hit it. You know, someone, a group of people that want to get the, the team to the, 
to the World Cup final. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do it until 2022. It's a small time. Now. 2018 is uh, will be bad, so yeah. we just have to get that, that position right in Zimbabwe. And uh, I, I hope for everybody's sake that uh, um, the government of Zimbabwe plus the people that are running Zimbabwe football come to their senses and uh, don't waste people's time when they can come and try and help the national team. Mm -hmm. So are you a religious man? Yes. Okay. So what uh, religion do you follow? Well, in, in uh, South Africa we were uh, Anglican, high Anglican. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter goes to a Catholic school. My, my wife uh, was taught at a Catholic school, so uh, I'm not a Catholic. I'm, I'm probably uh, the Anglican I am. Mm -hmm. My grandpa was also an Anglican priest. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's all the time we have today. Uh, thank you for coming on the show, Mr. Robert. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck on the future games, and we'll be there next week to check the game. Make sure you do. Uh, Tampa, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, that is. Next Saturday afternoon. All right, check it out. Thank you for watching the rain. Out.